Buffett's paste from Pinflet is also really, really good on terracotta or clay pots. So you can transform a simple and really inexpensive little pot into something that really, really shines and looks quite expensive. So we're actually going to create this particular um, colour. So what we're going to need are two different colours from our range of Buffett, and we're going to use the blue and the green. We're also going to need a palette knife and once again we're going to need some water which you've just placed in a syringe because it's easier than to decant the water from. So let's get mixing. Let's just open the colours and then we'll put some onto our non-stick mat using our palette knife. Now the colour we're actually wanting to achieve is like I say that peacock blue so we're just going to apply just a small amount of the green onto the mat there and then before we um, dip this into the, the blue pot we're just going to make sure it's nice and clean so we don't contaminate the other colour. So then we're going to apply near enough the same amount of blue onto there and let's just move the pots um, aside and then we're just going to start mixing. So as you can see what we want is that nice uniform colour running throughout the entire paste. So at the moment we've still got a little bit of blue and a little bit of green as you can see there. What I tend to do is actually near enough scratch the actual uh, mat itself so that way you know that you're lifting it off there and you're giving it a really really good mix. So as you can see our unique colour is almost there. We've still got some of that blue in there. And I think we're near enough, near enough done. Let's just have a look. Keep on going. Just turn the palette knife around there, get some more of that blue off. And there we go. So if we just bring back in the original colours, which were the blue there and also the green, and you can see our unique third colour there. Now if you want to lighten that particular colour, what you'll need to do is use the Buffett Silver. So that basically acts as um, a white if you were mixing paints. But I think we're quite happy with that particular colour. So now what we need to do is just add a little bit of water. So let's bring our syringe in there and then just start mixing that in like so. So the sort of um, mix you're trying to achieve is not a paste, not really that liquidy, just somewhere in, betro in between, almost like a, a creamy type finish. So there we go, and you can see it glistening away. Right now comes the really, really um, good part, and that's actually applying this to your pot. Now you don't need any special undercoat on here, so just grab your sponge applicator, and you can see how easy that is to apply. Now try not to go over the same area more than once and you can see how quick and easy that is. So just short bursts just all the way around the side of the pot there. Don't press too heavily otherwise what you can actually do is drag the paint off and of course we don't really want to be doing that. So just go all the way around. Now obviously the trick is it's to hold the pot on the inside whilst you turn the pot and coat it. Right let's just turn that all the way around and you can see there we've just got a little few patches there so I just go in there and just very very lightly go over and we're near enough done. Now if you want to coat the inside then obviously just wait until the outside is actually dry before you then go and coat the inside. So there we go, let's just finish that and you can see the nice um, luster that you actually get from using the Buffett paste there. Right, we're going to let that dry for at least 10 minutes and then we're going to come back and we're going to do the inside.
Right, we've now left the, the pot for about 10 minutes to actually dry so we can easily handle it now to enable us to um, decorate the inside. Now you see the, the paste here has dried a little bit, so all we need to, to do is add a little bit more water using our syringe there. Just give it a little bit of a, a mix and then just apply it. Let's just get that off the palette knife and just apply it to your sponge applicator and then just quickly go in there and um, do the inside of the pot and you can see how easy it is to actually apply the buffet paste once you've got it into that sort of like almost creamy state so we'll just go on the inside there okay and we're nearly done you don't obviously have to do the inside because you never see it but because we can we will so there we go and then just have a quick look around the outside and if there are sort of any gaps or what have you that you feel necessary to cover up then just go for it so we'll just go around a little bit just there and just there right and i think we're near enough done so again we're just going to leave that for about 10 minutes to dry so we'll just place it back like that and just go around the rim once more and then we'll leave that for 10 minutes and then we'll come back to it and we'll buff it up. Right, we're back to our pot now that as you can see has actually dried and it's got that lovely sheen to it already. But what we're gonna do, we're just gonna get a little bit of kitchen cloth. We're just gonna fold it into a pad. So that's it nice nice cloth then literally what you want to do is just start to buff it so by doing this you're going to achieve an even shiny finish you will get a little bit of actually of the buffet actually coming off but don't worry about that now if you want to use this outside what you're going to need to do is just to varnish or lacquer over the top and then it's going to um, be weatherproof as well and obviously watertight at the same time. So we can just go all the way around. And basically the more you actually shine it, the more um, shiny it will actually be. So just carry on buffing all the way around there until you're happy with the finish. And like I said, then just um, apply a lacquer or varnish actually over the top of that. So it's probably gonna be a water-based varnish that, or lacquer that you actually need. So. so there's our finished pot and as you can see it does come up really really nice and shiny. Now when you've been playing around with the product for a little bit longer you'll start to experiment with things and that's where the fun really starts to happen for you and you can see what we've done here we've just added a stencil and gone through that with a silver buffet. We've then used um, the green and the gold buffet to produce this beautiful colour here and then we've gone over the top with a stencil. Then just finishing off with this particular design we've used the silver and the red buffet and then just on the bottom part of the little um, pot there we've just graduated nice red into that and then just the detail there on the main element on the front has been um, a sticker as well as clay, you can also use um, buffet on wood. So you can see we've decorated the front of this. And we've gone for another unique colour on that. And this time we've used red and green. And we've just highlighted the area just to distress it um, using the gold. And on top we've used one of our stencils again there to add a little bit more detail. So as you can see, you know, buffet can be used for so many different applications, but the more you play with it, the more fun you're going to have.